There are several ways to define custom errors for your applications. The method I chose is based on the Edit Error Codes option that is found under Tools in the Advanced sub-menu. Using this dialog window, you create an XML file in the Errors directory located in the user.lib directory. This is why I defined the custom errors destination in the package builder as this directory and then set the kv errors file to go there. The file contains the errors that may be returned when calling unqlite functions as defined here in the unqlite.h header file. This is what the errors file looks like. As you can see, I've copied the error comments for my error strings. 6600 is the base for my error range, but the range can be changed. When creating your custom error codes, you get to define your own error range but there's nothing stopping you from creating overlapping regions and when you happen to get an error with two definitions, both errors will be reported. An example of this is error number 65, which is both a network connection error and a serial port timeout error. That's why I have this error base VI where I have defined the start of the error range. This makes it easy to change the error range if desired. Then there's the error strings VI, which contains all the error strings. Lastly, I use the errors build file VI to construct the errors file which will be copied to its proper place at installation. The error create VI creates the error where and when it is needed. The error code will define what error it is and the error string states where it appeared. The VI is called after each call to an external function for example here in the kv store open vi the external function is called and depending on the error code returned the correct error cluster is constructed now i don't know what the best practice is for custom errors in all situations but i found this solution to be flexible and easy to manage please comment if you have suggestions for improvement.